This is a 1986 Honda TLR 200 Reflex, serial number JH2MD0901GK000426. That would suggest that it was the 426th bike made. They only brought these bikes into uh, America for 86 and 87. They were made worldwide for several more years. Mileage on the bike is 820 miles, original miles. As you can see, all the controls are original. It's got grips are not original, but it's got the plastic tie wraps on the handlebars. All the controls are original here. The tank is in pretty good cosmetic shape. It's got some scratches on it. It's got some wear on the decals. A little bit of a, a dent right there, but otherwise it's in pretty good shape. The inside of the tank was treated at one point, and as you can see, the coating is peeling off. We did fill the tank complete to the top and let it sit, and it does not leak. The petcock works in both normal and reserve modes. The tank needs to be recoated, it needs to be cleaned internally and recoated. The seat's in pretty good shape. The underneath the seat's Fine, no damage. You can see that there's uh, a tear right there and this tear right there. The rest of the seat's in good shape. The engine, the engine runs real strong and I'll, we'll start that at the end of the video. The uh, exhaust system is complete and intact. The rear heat shield was replaced by that piece of strap metal as you can see. Uh, Unfortunately, I don't have another pipe or I'd put another pipe on the bike. The foot pedal, the tip of the brake lever was replaced uh, by the previous owner and uh, it's actually a pretty good job. It works just fine. Uh, you can see a dent right there in the skid plate, um, but other than that, the skid plate's fine. Front tire is an original Dunlop K950. You can see a little bit of dry cracking there. The tire spins true, the wheel's in nice shape, front fender, nice shape. These are always beat up and damaged, and this one's in nice shape. It's got brand new front shoes in it. There'll be a still shot of the shoes if you want it. Again, the tire, you can see that there's very little wear on that tire, which would indicate that the mileage is accurate. Headlight works, high beam, low beam. The plastic cowling is intact. The black decal has a little bit of wear around the edges, as you can see. Both reflectors are intact, the horn is intact and works, the signals do work. Rear brakes, uh, we pulled the, the pedal and the pivot and, and, and lubricated it. And you can see, look at the foot pegs on this bike. There's no damage to them at all, they're not swept back and the points on it would also corroborate the low mileage. Battery box. The battery box is complete and intact. There is no battery in it at this time, but if you're familiar with these bikes, you know they run just fine without a battery. Battery box is a little bit faded, but it is intact. This is another original Dunlop tire on it, K950 rear, and it's original and it's in pretty decent shape. Tail light original. The reflector is missing at the top of it. That's common with these. And this one's missing. You can find them on eBay from time to time. Original sprockets. Pretty good condition. The uh, rim has no dings in it. Could be cleaned up better. Side stand is complete and original. Even has the rubber tip at the end to kick it up if you take off without it. The exhaust system, the muffler, these metal guards always disappear. This one is here. It's in good shape. Shocks still have some life left in them. Pretty good life, I might say. You can see a little bit of wear on the frame. They typically get more wear on the left side of the frame for whatever reason. Again, the foot peg, nice and crisp. The shifter is original. It's missing the rubber uh, cover on it, but the linkage and everything else is, is right. And there's the engine. And we'll start it for you. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry, forgot. The rubber stalks have been ordered for the directionals, and they will be installed uh, 
prior to whoever gets the bike. There you have it, 1986 on the TLR 200. Thanks for watching.